Hey everyone, I'm Monique Judge, news editor here for The Root, and we have a very special exclusive interview with Dr. Anthony Fauci, who is going to talk to us about vaccinations. As you know, there is a lot of hesitancy in the Black community to take the vaccine for the COVID virus, and it's understandable. In this country, there's a history of Black people being experimented on by the medical industry. Of course, Black people are going to be kind of like, what is this? And do we really want to take it? Is it safe for us? And is the va- what, what's going to happen when you take the vaccine? Will you never be able to get COVID? Can you get COVID? Can you give it to other people? So Dr. Fauci has decided to come and sit down with The Root and give us the ins and outs of how these vaccines work to dispel some myths and rumors. And it's very informative. Check it out. First of all, there's a lot of discrepancies and and confusion around um, the fact that these vaccines, uh, specifically the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines, are mRNA vaccines. Um, People are saying things like, oh, it's altering your DNA. Can you just give us a really quick and dirty explanation of mRNA and why that's important? So mRNA, when you look about what RNA does, messenger RNA codes for a protein that you want the body to make a good immune response against. So when you inject the mRNA into the arm of an individual, it starts coding for a protein, the spike protein on the virus, and the body recognizes that as being part of a virus. It isn't the whole virus and makes a really potent immune response. There's no chance that the mRNA is going to enter into your own genes, into your own DNA. This uh, rumor, as it were, that mRNA is going to somehow modify your own genes is completely and totally impossible. Many people are confused about how, you know, someone can test positive after they've been vaccinated. So I'm hoping you can explain how the vaccine doesn't stop someone from inhaling the virus, but it does prevent you from getting sick with COVID-19. The vaccine can protect you from even getting infected in the first place, but sometimes people do get infected even though they're vaccinated, but because they're vaccinated, They don't get any symptoms, they do fine, and it is very unlikely that they're gonna transmit the infection to someone else. So vaccines can do one of two things. They could prevent you completely from getting infected, or if you do get infected, it makes it that you don't really get many symptoms at all, and it's almost as if you don't even notice it. There are also concerns um, because of rumors about the FDA's approval process for these vaccines. When the vaccine gets put before the FDA to determine whether or not it's gonna be approved, the FDA has to put it before their advisory committee, their VRBAC committee. That's an independent group that is not answering to anybody but the general public. And, And the deliberations about the data to determine whether the vaccine should be made available to the public are all public and transparent. When the FDA says that a vaccine is safe and effective, you can believe it because it's been determined independently and transparently by a group of individuals who are not beholden to the pharmaceutical company and not beholden to the administration. As far as the particular vaccines are concerned, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, of course, has had a lot of uh, talk in the news. Oh, people are saying, oh, it's giving everyone blood clots. Um, And as I understand it, it's a very small fraction or percentage of people. There is certainly associated with the J&J and the AstraZeneca vaccine, a very, very rare complication of clotting together with low platelets. It's called thrombosis with thrombocytopenia. Thrombosis means a clot, thrombocytopenia means low platelets. The risk benefit of getting COVID-19 versus the risk of the vaccine extraordinarily weighs in favor of getting the vaccine because that adverse event is extremely rare, 1.9 per million, which means it's more likely you'll get hit by lightning than it is that you're gonna get this adverse event. And that's the reason why the vaccination with J&J and with AstraZeneca are continuing, even though you're aware that there is this exceedingly rare adverse event. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is not an mRNA vaccine? No, it is not. 
it is a harmless viral vector that presents this particular protein to the body the same way the mRNA does. But the J&J &J is not an mRNA vaccine. Let's go to the mask mandate, right? Um, because you've given out advice, different states and cities are doing whatever they want. Um, can you give us a definitive answer on masks? So the CDC last week came out with the change of a guidelines, which said that if you are fully vaccinated, you should feel safe and comfortable that you will be protected from infection without wearing a mask, whether you are outdoors or indoors. That applies only to people who are fully vaccinated. If you are not vaccinated, the original recommendations of the CDC still remain, which means that you should wear a mask, particularly when you're indoors and you should avoid congregate settings, particularly indoors. The confusion that has arisen is that when people heard that the CDC said, if you are fully vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask indoor and outdoor, some people felt that then nobody needs to wear a mask indoor and outdoor, and that's not the case. If you're not vaccinated, you are at risk of getting infected. What about gatherings? You know, I have a very big birthday coming up this year. I'm turning 50 in July, um, and I want to get together with my friends in Las Vegas and have a party weekend to celebrate my birthday. What's your advice on that? Well, if you're vaccinated, you don't have to worry. You're safe, you can go, you can party, you can have an indoor or outdoor feast and an enjoyable weekend. If you are not vaccinated, then you really should be wearing a mask, particularly when you're indoors. Why don't you make as a birthday present to yourself to convince all of your friends to get vaccinated then nobody has to wear a mask at your birthday. And we can all breathe each other's air and lick the poles. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Fauci, for sharing your knowledge with us today. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you for having me, Monique. Good to be with you.